What is up, guys? My name is Awesome Movie Thousand, and today you're gonna be watching a COD commentary on Kowloon. Today I'm gonna be using the FN Foul with Flamethrower, uh, Scavenger Pro, Sleight of Hand Pro, Hacker Pro, Tomahawks, and Claymores. I know I don't usually do COD commentaries, but today, special day, decided I was kind of bored of playing COD and Oblivion and a couple other games. And so I thought I'd do a little commentary action while drinking a Dr. Pepper. Yep, that's right, I am having a Dr. Pepper. And some Beats Pops. The nerd cuisine. Anyways, today is not going to be about the gameplay, which, of course, right now, if, if you're going to be using a foul, if you're going to take after this game, you need a fast trigger finger. Work on it. Work on those finger muscles. <laughs> any way you can but uh, I end up going 52 and 11 and uh, three of those deaths probably of my own fault like I fall off the edge just after this kill streak. you'll see it but uh yeah you need a fast trigger finger or else you suck right there fall off the edge fail but uh, today I want to talk about the quality of the gameplays in Call of Duty and the quality of the commentators and how the shift has kind of changed from quality in video to quality in commentator. And I, I just I thought of this topic while I was in the shower. Don't ask me why. It's kind of kind of a weird place to think of a topic, but I was in the shower and uh, I was thinking. In the old days, not the, well, not really the old days, I can't say the old days, I'm not 150 years old, but uh, in the, in maybe, maybe a year, maybe two years ago, if you were to look at a Call of Duty gameplay, Machinima Respawn was just starting, it was Modern Warfare 2, if you were to look at a Call of Duty gameplay, you would see that almost all the games would be for the gameplay. Somebody like... I'm going to use White Boy 7th Street here because I freaking love him. If you look at him way, way back when he started on uh, Modern Warfare 2, he was the Nuke King, you know. He would get games where that were just ridiculous scores, like 205 and 3 or something like that. And that was the standard before. That used to be the standard. People would look for amazing games because they could do a game where they went 30 and 5. Anybody could do that. I could do that any day. But when you sh set yourself apart and you had that amazing game, you 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 got known on YouTube. You could you didn't even have to have commentary. But back then, if you did have commentary, it didn't even have to be good. It could just be like, oh, I'm just sitting here and now I move here and let's play here and use this gun here. But now it, it's kind of shifted. It seems like. The quality of the video, such as such as this one, I mean, this one's not exactly amazing. I mean, 11 deaths, probably a bit much, but if, if you look at it now, a game doesn't have to be amazing if the commentator can at least talk about a subject for more than five minutes. Because people, I, I think people are starting to shy away from that amazing game, because a lot of people can't get that, and or a lot of people can get it I, I mean, a lot, of, a lot of times it's it's both ways and I, I think it's kind of changing for the better, because really, I don't care about that amazing game anymore, I don't want to see 150 and 0, because it's just boring, it's I, I played this game how many years in a row? Seven years? It's changed a little bit, but it's it's not going to change drastically. And I think people are just starting to get bored of the regular gameplay that they see almost every day on a site like Machinima or used to be the game station, but not anymore. And I, I kind of like that change because it really lets the good people shine and it it kind of throws the bad people away like you could have two people commentate over something and the better commentator is always going to win if you have scene anners and some monkey commentating over something 
the better commentator is always gonna get noticed more. It's, I, I think it's kind of better for the community because it weeds out the bad commentators, or the bad, uh, bad YouTubers, I guess you could call it, and it, it lets those good ones shine, like a guy like C Nanners or a guy like White Boy or Hutch or something like that. That was a nice tomahawk there. I, I hope you saw that. That was a sweet tomahawk. But I think it lets the better guys shine. And I, I don't know if you agree with me. If, if it, I know this isn't going to get a ton of views, but if you guys are watching, I'd like, to, I'd like you to leave some feedback on what you think. Because I really think when you when you take away that amazing gameplay it it shows your true side cuz because you have to talk about something you have to know what you're going to talk about for those next 10 minutes 15 minutes however long your gameplay is and it shows the the better of the group i mean a lot of people don't think that when you sit in front of a mic and you talk about a gameplay that it, it requires any amount of skill. They're like, oh yeah, a guy like Cenares or White Boy just sets up, you know, starts talking. And, and he knows exactly what he's gonna talk about the whole time he does it one take. It just doesn't happen like that. And it takes a lot more skill. I mean, I personally right now have done this commentary, I think <laughs> maybe 10 times already. And it's, it's not perfect, it never will be. But it's gonna be better than your average Joe. Well, I'm hoping. I'm hoping you guys think so. And I, I, I just really, I'm, I'm starting to think that YouTube's heading in the better, well, the Call of Duty YouTube community, I guess you could call it, is heading in a better direction with the vlog type of uh, commentaries where you just talk about your life and you talk about something that's happening. Because it, it, it opens up that, that, uh, place for the more interesting people, the people that have tons of things going on in their life, and they can talk about it with us, and we really want to hear about how you bought your pet monkey bubbles at the at the pet land, and now he's throwing poo at your walls. <laughs> See, like if, if, if someone's talking about that, you're more interested, and I, I think that's a better route than talking about just the gameplay. People don't tune in I'll use this kind of as an analogy. People don't tune in to the Shaytards to watch them eat cereal. They tune in to watch them be cute and to watch the things they do in their lives, the, the fun things they do in their lives. They don't want to see the same thing every day. Oh, I get up. Oh, I go to work. Oh, I'm home. If, if that was the case, nobody would watch them. But because they have something new, something different, and they talk about it, they, they do something new, People like them. People enjoy them. I personally enjoy the shade charts. But when I look at, at at someone who might just be some normal kid trying to vlog, they're not going to get noticed as much because they, they don't have that extraordinary life. They don't have that one thing that they can talk about. And I, I think it's a better, better uh, way to go for YouTube if... We start noticing the people that are more interesting, that have something to talk about rather than just throw on a gameplay and boom, you're good at Call of Duty. People watch you and then you're on Machinima, you're getting paid, whatever. I want, I want the people that get paid to be the people that I actually like, not someone who's going 500-0 and I don't enjoy them. And, Maybe they hate their subscribers or something like that. I, I don't like that. I, I think that's that's a worse way to go. Uh, anyways, guys, this commentary wrapping up pretty quick here. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. I hope my commentary was okay. It was my, probably my first commentary in over months. Probably months. But uh, if you liked it, give it a like. Uh... And tell me what you think. Tell me if you like the the way commentary is going nowadays. If if that style, the the vlog kind of style is more for you or if you like the gameplay strategies because I can do both. But I I personally like talking about a topic and and you know being knowledgeable about something. 
so guys this is the end thanks for watching have a nice day subscribe see you later